my beloved love, and it all might feel as though it becomes too heavy at times. And with the Four of Swords, you may also feel a lot of fear, anxiety, overwhelm, or stress related to that. And once again, my guides are saying, these are all two sides of the same coin. Begin to accept the totality of your nature, the extremes within yourself. Begin to accept your huge range of capacity for feeling, both the depths of emotion and also the heights. Because I'm getting that you are someone who is extremely sensitive to energy, so you actually are more impacted by those collective energy waves that we were talking about earlier than even the average person. And I feel that this has been coming up because someone may have been feeling a bit of self-judgment coming out around some of this, and I feel you being asked to really see yourself with love, to see how far you've come, to see how well you are doing so much of the time of really maintaining your balance, being such a light in this world. I see you being like that star in a very dark sky, one who is actually guiding and leading others in ways that you may not even be fully consciously aware of. So, I'm going to be reshuffling some of the cards here. I feel like many of the messages coming out today have been words of encouragement from someone's spirit guides. So, I'm really going to let this reading just carry us where it wants to go. And thank you for keeping such an open mind and heart, and of course, for sharing your own powerful energy here in this reading. You are more than a passive listener. You are actually an active co-creator here. And once again, we have the Divine Timing card. What else can I channel about this Divine Timing at play? So, with the Garden and the Gate and the Attachment card, I feel like your heart might be feeling stuck on something here. And this may actually require deploying some of your boundaries. Because I feel as though your guides are really asking you to analyze how other people are connecting with you, how they are influencing you, and particularly to set boundaries around the information that you give other people, depending on how they tend to connect with you. So, for example, if you find that when you're around a particular person, they seem to connect you to lower vibrational conversations, almost as though you feel worse or more distraught or anxious after speaking with them, that might be a sign that this person is actually at a lower vibration themselves. And so when they connect with you, and you overstep your own boundaries and share information with this person, because they can't perceive that information from your higher level perspective, they will actually unconsciously pull you down to their perspective of the situation. Now, I will say that right as I was describing this loop that you're in, my guides showed me a spiral staircase, and this has actually come up in recent readings as well. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 